Talk about gray skin and slits for eyes. <laughs> Pronounced nose. This guy, are we sure Ammonager's not one of these aliens? He's got human skin stretched over an alien body right here. Ammonager looks like he's about to say, oh, that smell? I just had some meat that went bad. I just had meat that's, that went bad. Those, those are the type of, uh, those are the eyes that you get from sitting for long hours in dark <laughs> editing booths trying to put together documentaries yeah. about UFOs, I suppose. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's fucking continue bottle this. caps, man. Holy <laughs> shit. Norton Air Force Base to explore subjects for television specials related to the Defense Department. While discussing several of the subjects, UFOs came up, and Paul here told us about a film of a landing of alien crafts at uh, Holloman Air Force Base about three years earlier. What did you see, Mr. Shuttle? I saw footage of three disc-shaped crafts. One of the crafts landed and two of them went away. Why did it land? It appeared to be in trouble because it oscillated all the way down to the ground. However, it did land on three pods. A sliding door opened, a ramp was extended, and out came three aliens. <laughs> what, what did they look like? Well, they were human sized. They had odd gray complexion and a pronounced nose. They wore tight fitting jumpsuits, thin headdresses that appeared to be communication devices, and their hands, in their hands, they held a translator, I was told. A Holloman base commander and other Air Force officers went out to meet them. You actually saw these aliens on the film? Yes. This film footage sounded very, very special, and we wanted to use it as the ending of our television special. And did you? Was it in your special? Well, although the Pentagon had been very, very cooperative all the way, at the last minute, the film was confiscated, and we lost the whole finale of our show. But what I saw and heard was enough to convince me that, you know, the phenomenon of UFOs is real, very real. Mr. Shardell, what did your superior officers tell you? I was told it was theatrical footage the Air Force has purchased to make a training film. Well, that sounds plausible, doesn't it? Uh, you can well, fast forward a uh, theatrical film. Why didn't I have a record of this? It was my job to keep accurate records of all audiovisual purchases. It didn't show anything. And what it is, is you see the hills of Holloman, and you see this object, this brilliantly lit object at 6 o'clock in the morning coming over the hills, but it's in a distance. Mm. So it, you don't see it close up, and you don't see the alien when the alien gets out. That's the classified part. So they want you to know that Holloman happened, and they allowed them to use this the eight seconds of the film but the rest of the film, the classified part, was pulled. So it's just like an orb coming down. Right. So it's a, br yeah. a bright object in the distance that you see uh, descending in altitude. Tic-tac-y looking. Yeah, it's... Um, but, you know, you hear them saying, like, the Pentagon, the whole time they were cooperating, and then at the last second, like, on release day, they're like, they pull this, nah. right? We gave these nerds too much, pull it. Yeah. I mean, uh, and yeah, and, and I could understand like the reasoning, like part of the reasoning being the Watergate scandal, like sounds plausible because it's like, dude, like we had just had a major, <laughs> major thing. Like that was the Watergate was a big deal. That's your excuse for everything around that there's, time. It's Watergate, just no, like in the 2000s. No, like, no. hey, listen, 9-11. Can't do it. 9-11. Yeah. Just had 9-11. I mean, it was a big yeah. deal. <laughs> I, <laughs> What's the, I still deal? use, to be honest, mean I you still should use high it. Disclosure. That's why I didn't go to work today. No. 9-11 yeah i was like i can't come in today my boss was like why i was like i just woke up i got to thinking about 9-11 and he was like say no more <laughs> you're, you're off uh so yeah that, that that eight seconds of footage which is apparently like the beginning of that thing and um was made it into the film now a little another interesting thing is like when, when you track some of this stuff across the internet you you come across the um perhaps the the, the the claim that the footage that they that they had confiscated the one of the aliens coming down and and then uh Shardle saying that they used it as a, a it, you know or they changed their tune and said that it was a theatrical uh thing it's said that 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 footage was used as a kind of template for Steven Spielberg's uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind when the alien craft lands. Um, spoilers. It's about aliens. <laughs> like <laughs> um, when the alien craft lands uh, towards the end of the movie. Um, so that is something that, you know, you know, Steven Spielberg having a, you know, penchant for accuracy and he kind of was in on that stuff already it's maybe you know there there are some rumblings across the internet claims that perhaps you know some of this stuff had made it even though it didn't make it into that documentary maybe some of it you know had been used for that uh 
Now, Holloman Air Force Base uh, in itself, um, what is actually documented to have gone down in that in that area, I, how you look at it, like you, the Holloman Air Force Base might have been the best place. Like if this were to have occurred, um, you know, if this is true, if the claims are true, like this might have been the place to do it. Um, Holloman Air Force Base uh, was the uh, where they tested like tons of experimental uh, experimental aircraft and not just I'm not saying just planes and jets, but they also did things like high altitude jumps, like people taking up balloons to like 10,000 feet or no, sorry, the, I think the, the highest one was 102,800 oh, feet and they had um, uh, what was it? Jo Joseph Kittinger in 1960 jumped out of an air balloon to test out uh, like a th it was the longest skydive in the history. <laughs> <laughs> like in history and that probably that record probably stood for a long time right. um i think the biggest that, the crazy thing about those air sleds too are fucking insane and then those rocket sleds right so that's the that's the other one is that the the one of the events that holloman air force base is known is to have per, uh tested the a rocket propelled test sled where they shot uh john stapp uh, uh strapped into this thing listen guys listen this has been plaguing me forever i gotta know how the fuck does Santa Claus do it? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. That was a test one. Is Santa Claus real? Can we prove it? I don't know. But if he does, we'll figure it out. And they're like, the guy, guy, ah! strapped a rock. They're like, there's no way. <laughs> it's the Jimmer, no the way Jimerson's it. debating how fast Santa Claus can right. go. They're trying to, they're God trying to uncover the secrets of uh, yeah. uh, Santa Claus's sled. Um, yeah, they got, they got that. They got. <laughs> He comes off. He's all shaking. God damn it, Jim. We still don't know how he's doing it with six, 12 reindeer. We don't get it. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, they got him up to someone else comes in like, God damn it, Jim. He's not even real. And they're like, what? What are you? What are you saying? <laughs> God, God damn, damn it. Jim, keep it down. <laughs> keep it down. We're going to end up on the naughty list. <laughs> God damn it. It's a story for kids. You just strapped a poor man to a rocket. <laughs> God damn it, Jim. You're getting cold. Uh, yeah, so they got him up onto that rocket set about to about 632 miles per hour. Uh, this was <laughs> this wow. insane. Um, they put it's like 40 G's or something. Fast? It was like 40 G's. Yeah, um, what they were pulling. Yeah, the acceleration on that rocket on the track would be insane. I don't know, they got yeah, they have I like picture they, looking, <laughs> I picture it looking hey, like a Santa sled. <laughs> is it fast enough to get to every country in one night? Sure you have to no, so. <laughs> no, it's not. That's why they're like they're like. He he was he he held the record because he survived. The guy who went faster died. They're like, it's not possible. <laughs> he can't be real, Jim. <laughs> um, God damn it, Jim. We need Tim Allen. Uh, Holloman was also uh, also had the claim to be having under its wing dozens of chimpanzees, uh, which they used for uh, <laughs> high altitude experiments during the space race. Like they they I think it was like chimpanzees other animals like pigs uh dogs and things like that so yeah. they were launching out into space uh or close to uh space uh to try to get you know as we approached actual human space travel um they use these animals there they house them there at holloman air force base one of the things that we mentioned balloons before and if people are familiar with a lot of the 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 roswell landy which i hope hope people are um one of the official no what is that one again <laughs> one of the official explanations offered up by uh air force uh, military officials was that the the materials that were recovered were actually part of a what recently uh, somewhat recently declassified uh department dod uh department of mm. defense program called project mogul and Pro mogul. project project mogul was a uh basically uh utilizing long-range balloons to carry out um reconnaissance in, in the forms of i think there's like some of them had like radiation detectors they had these really sensitive radiation detectors yeah i think the uh, one of the original purposes was to detect like soviet like nuclear detonations like pro nuclear de detonation to see what they're up to exactly like so these balloons are super high altitude and they could i guess read through the ionosphere what was being shaken through the atmosphere through these <laughs> fucking giant explosions across the world and so um holloman's location there isolated out in new mexico made it the perfect location for the launching of these balloons so it's it, it's 
makes there's there's an association there that perhaps all of all of them, if that is true then hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video